What is good YouTube? Adam over here from Shipping Vintage, shippingvintage.com. I got a nice video for you today. I went thrifting, I got some stuff at an online estate sale auction, some gold actually. Uh, so also we're gonna pull the Saturday's orders from Etsy. What I do, I buy stuff in thrift stores, garage sales and estate sales, and I sell them online on Etsy and eBay. Let's get to the items. Let's do the auction haul first. So this is my auction haul in those boxes. And if you go inside and you can see everything is nicely wrapped. I unwrapped some of them, but it was all nicely wrapped in paper. It's like Christmas time for me. So this is all the stuff I got at the auction. And some of the items I paid up and some of them I got for a very good deal. Uh, we have the invoice right here. So the first item you can see the description says 14 carat gold ring. Uh, estimated value $400 and I got it for 60 bucks uh, kind of a little bit a bummer actually it turns out this ring is only 10 carat gold ring here is the ring get it out of there it's a nice gold with real diamond inside and here is the appraisal so it tells you it's 10 carat gold and yellow and white gold engagement ring and it has a diamond uh, 07 carat and has the clarity and the grade estimated value $400 that's like insurance value but that was about 10 years ago more than 10 years ago I might put that on eBay for half the price next lot is the RCMP Mounties and this was only $20 this is actually a very interesting one so it's all in this box, Mounties. That's a big box. So let me set it up here on the table. Here is my instant collection of RCMP Mounties. We got some uh, plastic figurines, these on the horses. So these are made in Hong Kong and they're about $20 each. I know I can get $20 for this pocket knife. Then not sure of the value. RCMP Copper Mine, Northwest Territories. There is um, more plastic figurines uh, riding on the horse. Very nice, larger horse. This could be about $35. This one's about $25. There is a book in the line of duty history of the RCMP, but it's signed by the author. It's made out to somebody, but still signed. And then we have this big item here. This is a decanter and there's the, the lid, the cork, and this is from 1969, made by the Arton Distillery. And I think this held the Canadian Mist uh, liquor. So these don't go for much money, about $20, uh, but it all adds up. I paid $20 for the whole lot, I can get my money back just selling this pocket knife. The next lot is the vintage, uh, satin pillow covers this was only two dollars and fifty cents and there is no much value in these but i thought they were cool i had no i didn't know much about them and they're old vintage so just pillow cases a kind of military armor division for benning georgia and then we have another one there's i think four and this one is about a sister but it has the some kind of Royal Canadian Navy logo on it, pillowcase. Uh, these pillowcases don't sell for too much, about 10 to 15, uh, five dollars to 10 dollars each, something like that. But I guess different ones might bring more money. This is a nice one, CBs uh, from California. Some of them can be 20 bucks. Um, and then one more US Army. Air Forces, Air Base Washington, nice. With the French, vintage from like World War II, I think 50s, something around there, 50s, 60s. This was only $2.50, I was the only bid. Uh, that's why I got this, to, to learn about this kind of stuff. The next item is vintage candy glass lanterns. This cost me $70. And I bought this lot to learn about these uh, 
candy lanterns. So there's candy lanterns. And actually came in this nice, beautiful box with Christmas theme and cuts. Uh, and inside there is 36 lanterns. So there is 36. So it cost me about $2 each. If you do the math, let me set everything out on the table. There are some cool, cool ones in there. Here it is, another instant collection. And it's a very nice collection. 36 uh, lanterns, candy containers. Uh, so actually this one sold on eBay for about $41 and it was put on auction and only got one bid. So I'm pretty sure you can get more money for that. And there are some, so the coral glass ones seems to be the more valuable ones. But since these are all vintage, and they sell for about $20 a piece. 20 to $15. And the coral glass and all the more unusual glass shapes like this one here, for example. Uh, this one might sell for more money. And most of these are from the same company. Um, you can see there is markings on some of them. This one has markings here made in the usa and avor and has a size so most of them from avor they're made in the usa and pennsylvania so very nice collections of lanterns railway kind of look lanterns but they're for candy and as you can see some of them have some candy inside they're called candy pellets some of them have some embossing writing on it here is some old candy in this one so i knew nothing about them it looked pretty cool and i got it and the next lot it's a graphics series d vintage camera this was the most expensive item 280 dollars i almost gave up bidding on it but i did win it and here it is let me open this up this is a beautiful camera here it is, it's a big camera. It's a large format camera. Graphics cameras are very expensive, uh, depending on the lens. And this one has a good lens. It has the Carl Zeiss Jenna Tesla lens, F3.5. And let's do a walk around. RB Graphics Series D, curtain aperture. All this mechanism here. And you look down in there to take the picture. There is some dirt on the glass, so I'm gonna have to clean that off. There is still film uh, uh, in back in there. And then on the other side, that's where the I think shutter. I don't even know exactly how to use this, so I have to watch some YouTube videos, instructions, how to operate it in order to test it. But it does look to be in very good condition. And I paid. $280 and they sell anywhere from 600 to 1200 bucks online depends on the lens and also overall overall condition Graflex great brand for cameras here is the Kodak number no. 4 camera the leather case alone can be worth maybe 50 60 dollars apparently is missing some parts uh, let's see if this was in good uh, all working condition these cameras sell for about 300 to 400 dollars they're very rare uh, let me open it up and show you how it looks inside here it is look at that it's all wood here and brass lens actually it does the Bausch and Lomb optics for the lens there is something wrong with it like the rail here doesn't there's something's missing I can't connect this to the rail so this is all loose like that but like the shutter mechanism looks to be good lens seems to be okay beautiful brass detail and nice again like maroon color bellows uh, maybe i can find some parts for this or i might just sell this as is for display but beautiful camera kodak that was in the 21 dollar lot so that was my three uh, kodak cameras for 21 dollars so let's find the let's see the next item It's the last one from the auction the last item is also a camera this is a more of my type of thing this slr camera so this one was 40 dollars came with two lenses 
it's a very good lens 1.4 but unfortunately it's moldy inside so this lens is gonna go to the garbage i might still be able to sell the body but this lens looks okay it's not a nikon lens but it is for the nikon camera so i might be able to sell the body and the lens uh this lens uh to get my money back this body seems to be in working condition but it's, it is beat up and it's very dirty you need some cleaning uh, before it goes for sale that is my auction haul now let's look what we got at the thrift not a huge haul but a very cool one so let's see here so we got some chess games this was a very nice price 3.99 it's a very big board like compared to this board see this one this one's smaller and I, for this one i still got it a different thrift from different value village for 6.99 this is made in Taiwan. I got it because it has nice chess pieces. I like the brown, shiny and very good condition. And it's all complete. I sell chess pieces like this, chess sets, wooden ones, vintage, very, very well. This one's very nice, big board. It was all, only $4. And this one also has the checkers pieces and the chess pieces. And then we got this chess. Uh, set I didn't know exactly what it was almost left this behind but I did look it up and this one was $9.99 so it was the most expensive of all the chess items let me open this up and then we go I show you how much these things sell for so there is like three sets and I saw this here Husaria so I quickly typed it on my phone, Husaria Chess, and boom! Husaria Chess, pre-owned, $128 at 5-star product rating. There is another one pre-owned for $144, and these are asking prices. Uh, so about $120, there is a brand new one for $170, but hey, for $10, I had to take it when I saw these kind of prices on eBay. And yeah, this is on eBay. Oh, let me show you other stuff I got at the thrift here. Uh, so some bread and butter items. This was only $3. This is a Asco sharpener. A little bit dirty. Might keep it here for the office. Might list it on eBay. I sell these for about 25 bucks, and they sell very well. Also got this. It was like $5 for this figurine. And I got it because somebody did hand carve it. And I love stuff like that. Lots of nice detail. He's holding a pipe. There is also a hole here, not sure if it's missing a piece, but this was only $5. This is hardwood carving, and I sold hardwood carving like that from the Asian origin, and they sold very well for me. He's holding on to a money sack right here. Money bags, money bags, <laughs> yo. So yeah, nice little piece for like five bucks. And the teeth actually are like almost like a bone in there and then i also got this at the thrift it was ten dollars wasn't that cheap i like it because when you touch it it's very sharp so that means it's cut glass because it's very sharp it feels like almost gonna cut you and it opens up so it's like a trinket box you can hold stuff in there and i like also like the spikes at the glass and they like go in between like gears almost and i did look it up with the google lens at the thrift store and they people are selling these for about forty dollars on Etsy, so no huge profits, but it will pay for the gas. That's why I got it, and it looks nice. I like the blue. I like that it's cut glass, and I like that metal accent on top. But the score of the night from the thrift store, and it was even in the showcase. This dancing lady figurine right here. Look at the detail, and she was in the figurine section on the shelf, uh, priced at $24.99. And actually this one and this one, I did have a 20% coupon. So this one cost me only $20. And I just looked at the bottom, when I saw the mark, I knew exactly what this was. It's a Wallendorf figurine. It's called the Dancing Lady these figurines are very collectible very high quality uh i did like triple check if she has any cracks or chips before i got her because i couldn't believe that she was 
just in the figurine section uh, at the thrift store. Let me show you quickly how much uh, they can sell for. So here you can see one and of porcelain figurine. Uh, this one's 172, but she has an old white dress. This one's also old, has a white dress, 189 on eBay. And that might be even US dollars. And there is one for 228 on Etsy. And this one's the same one as the one I have here. So Wallendorf figurine, the dancing lady, 200 bucks. And I got it for $20. So that was a nice pickup from the thrift. Next, let's pull some Etsy orders. First Etsy sale today. And all these sales are from today. It's the music cassette tape case holder uh, $55 and that includes shipping and this one I know exactly what it is it's right here uh, careful taking it out and that's the case case holder for the cassettes next we have vintage magnetic chess $39 and these ones are here I got these for a dollar at a yard sale and they sold chess and other games magnetic ones in original box and next we have the nikon that i got last week and the buyer paid 136 dollars nikon camera no inventory box but i know exactly what it is it's right here and that's the nikon camera with the nikon lens 136 dollars includes shipping so about 110 bucks plus shipping Next we have vintage book. Oh, I went too high. Vintage book, lawyers and others. Uh, red cover, fifty-five dollars. I think it's right here on the bookshelf. It's the book right there. Let me get it out. Here's the book. Let's continue, and then we have some blank mini DV video cassette tapes. Buyer paid $14 only, shipping will be letter mail. And they're in H2, H3, H4. H2 is right here. And H2 has a lid on. Let's get the whole box out. And these smaller boxes have small things inside. And here are the tapes. About $10 sale, minus shipping. Uh, what's next? It's a hammer, vintage Marco hammer, and we'll see the price, fifty-three dollars. Uh, and the hammer is not this one; it's this one here. It's like a shattering hammer. I got this also at a yard sale for about two bucks. So nice to see that sell. And it's sold on Etsy. And then we have vintage duck Christmas ornament M1. So Christmas ornaments, I got the whole box for five bucks and we already sold a bunch out of there. So let's find the duck. And it's right here, the duck, kind of rough shape, but somebody got it. And then let's see, and we got the last one is uh, Fire truck cabin, uh, these don't bring too much money, $46 with shipping. And this fire truck should be somewhere here. Here is the fire truck. So it's missing, of course, the, the ladder trailer. That's why it didn't sell for much money, but I'm still surprised that it did sell. I did have it listed for a while, but I'm glad to see this go and somebody's gonna enjoy that. That's all the Etsy sales for today, but let me show you something else. You sold items on Bonanza, yeah, shark shot glass, $20 US. Here is the Bonanza sale, that's the shark glass, and it has a Seahawk Cortez Florida souvenir. So about, I'm gonna ship it for 10 bucks, I got 21 US for it, so about $10 uh, for me, for this sale. That's all my Saturday sales. I also had a couple of CDs that sold on eBay. I won't be pulling that right now. 
Thank you for watching and it's Adam from Shipping Vintage, shippingvintage.com and you will see me in the next video. Cheers!